Hey guys, the last time we were talking about uh, fingerprint custom actions and this is not a fingerprint phone. The actual fingerprint phone is being used for uh, making this video so hey, I'm gonna use this as a prop. I've got seven, seven, yes, seven. I've got seven interesting profiles that I like and I'd like to share it with you. And this is how you can use a finger um, print sensor. Oh, if you don't have one, like with this is old and fashioned now LG, uh, just on screen invisible overlay. So I'm gonna show you now. We can use this to cast the website from the mobile to the computer and uh, we're gonna use the Wi-Fi to select which computer or you can opt out and use a dialog option to pick the device from the list and cast the screen to it. If you're bored typing on the um, WhatsApp on your mobile, why don't you send it to your computer as well? Or if you were browsing a Facebook, you can do exactly the same action, just send the Facebook uh, to your computer. Another thing you can do is you can cast the current video. To enable this, you have to open the YouTube inner TV mode uh, on your computer and then a casting icon will appear for you to be used. Oh, if you want to take a selfie, just press the button, wait a few seconds, and the picture will be automatically taken, uh, saving you some time from configuring the timer on the camera. And look at this gorgeous result. If you have a Hangout open, you can pop up the screen with uh, predefined options, and instead of typing it all out, you can just uh, hold and paste the text. If you have the Maps open, all you have to do is press the fingerprint reader to take you automatically home or if you want to use uh, favorite locations just display dialogue and pick the list of uh, the location from the dialogue so what if you don't have a fingerprint uh, scanner you can use an overlay uh, on your screen that will act in the same way create an additional profile that will display a scene this scene will uh, contain in my case an image uh, which will have exactly same task uh, as I would run uh, if I would be using a fingerprint reader. Then just modify alpha value to make it less visible, position it on the screen or make it invisible and then you have a hidden functionality to be used. So this is basically how it works. This project contains additional tasks so you can link either a task with a dialog or a task that will respond automatically. So all you have to do is just a link correct task to change the behavior of the fingerprint scanner. These that work automatically are checking on my location using Wi-Fi. So if I'm connected to a home Wi-Fi, they set me to home. If I'm connected to work, they set me to work. And uh, that location from the variable is being used later in an action that sends the push, join push message to the computer uh, as an if condition. All the profiles here are created in the same way and linked to the task uh, with the event for uh, variable. So if you have a look, this is a join actions that are linked by if conditions to the variable location. Now, if you want to have a dialogue, you can disable the Wi-Fi profiles and you can display a dialogue that will uh, contain the same uh, values that will be set in the variable location and then you can easily just use the same uh, setup for everything. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in Tasker files or complete uh, tutorial, please follow the links on the screen or in the video description. And as usual, I'm gonna see you in the next video. So take care, bye.